Hi everyone, in this video I'll be reading Surprise, You're a Witch, which is a crossover of No Good Nick, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and Sydney to the Max. So, hope you enjoy. Alright, I'm bringing the computer closer, had to push it back because of the title card there. Okay, now you can see it. All right. Judy says, relieved, good, <laughs> and brings the conversation back to the board game. Now, about that board game, <laughs> Molly, slightly annoyed, finally we'll get some answers. Judy questions, in the game, what happens when you land on getting married to a mortal? Jer Jeremy answers, but is unsure. You receive a smaller version of the game? Judy answers, correct. In the real world, when a witch marries a mortal, they also receive a board game. The pieces in the board game resemble their close family in the other realm. Are you saying witches are real, says Jer asks Jeremy, scared. And does a nervous, Jeremy does a nervous gulp. Yes, it's a modern day, uh, yes, <laughs> um, yes, uh, Liz says yes, it's okay, modern day witches don't boil bones anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, how do you know for sure, asks Jeremy. That game is based on actual events, says Liz. When I married your father, says Liz, I received ours. And when, Judy says, and when I married who you think is your dad, says Judy, but is actually your stepdad, <laughs> I got one as well, says Judy. Are you saying that you're witches, asks Molly. Max, confused and slightly demanding. Who's my real dad then, <laughs> asks Max. Sydney, confused and clarifying. And if you two are witches, what does that make us, says Sydney. Jeremy realizes, hold on, just one second, recalling earlier events. When we came in, Judy called Mom Sabrina, and Mom called Judy Aunt Hilda. Jeremy, realization hits, oh my gosh, are you two the witches in the game? Liz and Judy in unison, and looking guilty. <laughs> Uh, we're sorry, Nick, mad and ashamed of Liz. You have some nerve. You got mad at me for lying to get my dad out of prison, says Nick. Uh, that, if you watch the show, uh, No Good Nick, that's a part of it. <clears throat> mad and ashamed of Liz. Uh, yet yeah, you lied about your, you lied to your entire family about being a witch. Liz says, sad and apologetic. Look, I'm sorry about my lie, Nick. Can look, I'm, I'm sorry about my lie, Nick. Can you forgive me? Nick, mad and walking away. I gotta go. Liz puts an arm out in stopping motion. Nick, stop. Not another step. Why not? Says Nick. Liz explains. Because, Nick, you are immortal. You step forward, and you will be frozen in time like the other mortals around you. That's why we did the huddle earlier. Witches are immune to time freezes, but mortals aren't. If a witch protects a mortal during a time freeze, the mortal will not get caught in the frozen timeline. So, other than me, who else is a mortal, says Nick. Judy explains, including you, there are only three mortals in this group. And they are, asks Molly. Ed, Olive, and Nick, says Liz. Judy turns to Max. Tell me, what was Jarrell's backstory in the game? Says Judy. <clears throat> Max is trying to remember. Okay, he's on the witch's council, and he had a thing for Hilda. 
which, pardon the pun, are, is you, right? Judy explains, yes, when sub I mean Liz was growing up and Jer growing up, me and Jarrell had this off and on thing, off and on relationship, says Judy. Wait, is that what you guys were vaguely talking about earlier? asked Max. Judy takes a deep breath. <sighs> yep, says Judy. He's your dad and I never told him about you, says Judy. So that's why he never that's why he was never around, says Max. You because you didn't tell him I existed, asked Max. Yes, I'm sorry I lied, says Judy. And one more thing, says Judy. Since he's a witch and I'm a witch, that makes you a witch. Max is shocked. I, I'm a witch? <laughs> Wait a second. That means Sydney is a half witch. Cool, says Sydney. Cause says Sydney. <laughs> Sydney says happily excited. Cool. The what kinds of powers do I have? Judy explains apologetically. I'm sorry, Sid, but your powers don't come in until you turn 16. Reassuring. Hey, on the bright side, you only have four years to wait. Darn, I really wanted to try them out, says Sydney. Molly asks Liz, So, Mom, are you a full witch or a half witch? Liz explains, I'm a half witch, just like Sydney, and... Just like you and Jeremy. Cool. Can we try out our powers? At home, we will do it together, says Liz. At, Molly says, cool, can we try out our powers? Liz says, at home, we'll do it together. Now, anything else before I unfreeze the timeline, says Liz. Nick questions, yes, what's your guys' real name? Liz answers, I'll go first. My real name is... Sabrina, says Liz. Judy takes a deep breath. <sighs> My real name is Hilda, says Judy. I just realized... <laughs> Max has a realization. Oh, I just realized you guys probably came in here for a reason. Uh, what did you come in here for? asked Max. Molly answers, yes, we came in to get me a new bike. Do you think you can use your powers to get a bike? Do you think you can use your powers to get the bike from over there? Says Molly. Hilda answers, of course. Which, pun intended, one do you want? The third one in the top, uh, third one from the top shelf. You know, the one you were putting up when we got here? Hilda uses her magic to take the bike down from the top shelf. Sabrina says, Since the bike's down now, is everyone okay with me taking down the frozen timeline? All in unison, yes. Sabrina takes down the, the set timeline. Great. Let me ring that up for my new family, says Max. Sabrina says happily, Yes! Pretty cool that we're cousins. <laughs> Max in agreement. Yeah, since... My mom's your aunt. That makes us cousins. <laughs> Sabrina says in agreement. Cool. Max rings them up and everyone's happy there's no more secrets between them. The end of surprise, you're a witch. I hope you enjoyed this vid dash story. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.